Yo people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So Manchester United somehow drew that game in Turkey yesterday. I say somehow, two absolutely catastrophic errors by Andre Anana costing us uh, two points in that game, um, which would have been making qualification look a little bit more likely than it is right now. In fact, right now, I, thought, I don't think Manchester United are going to qualify. It requires United to beat Bayern Munich and Copenhagen and Galatasaray to play out a draw in their final game. If either of those teams win, even if Manchester United beat Bayern Munich, we go out. So, I don't, I'm not holding on to any hope. In fact, after the Copenhagen game, I was pretty much settled on the fact that Manchester United weren't going through this group. But then, when you race into a two-goal lead twice in the game, we went 2-0 up and 3-1 up. You start to get some kind of... Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. And boy, did they pull me back in. And then I was out again. Yeah, it was gone again. Andre Onana making mistakes. He's not the first mistakes he's made in the Champions League. Obviously, we have that memorable penalty save against Copenhagen. But he has made more mistakes than he has saved us points in this Champions League phase. And I did a tweet yesterday saying he has cost us our spot in the next round of the Champions League. And whilst that may sound harsh, I do think it's true. Now, I still feel like he can save something at Manchester United. You look at his Premier League form, I think that's improved. Um, obviously, he's top of the clean sheets and all those kind of things in the Premier League. But it's not looking good right now, especially when you cost us so big in such a big game. Um, but we'll get stuck into that. We'll discuss yesterday's game. We'll discuss the game coming up against Newcastle. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share. We're trying to get back into the swing of things of almost daily videos um, now. So we'll get started on doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so disappointed, man. Even Anthony played well yesterday for Manchester United. And you look at the pure stats. Manchester United are the top goal scorers in our group. We've scored three away to Bayern Munich, three away to Copenhagen, three away um, to Galatasaray. And we've still not won any of those games. In fact, we've got one point out of nine on the road. Um, and then obviously we lost against Galatasaray at home and we beat Copenhagen at home. Um, that's not a good enough record. Um, and I'm surprised we've still got some form of hope of going through. Um, but when you look at the results... You know, scoring all those goals and you're not... It's clear that the defence has been an issue. Goalkeepers' mistakes have been a massive issue. You know, against Bayern Munich, for example, costing us. And if you just you look at the time that that came in the game, it cost us massively. But also, if you just look at it from a pure statistical view, would have had probably a point extra. You know, yesterday without those mistakes. And I've seen a few people criticise um, the way we gave the free kicks away. And I totally agree with that. But... You've got to be saving both of those. You have to be saving both of those shots. You see, you, you just do. And to see Garnacho carry on his good form after that sensational goal against Everton with a goal, Bruno scoring a fan. And we just chuck it all away, man. You know, we were leading against um, Galatasaray at home as well. Leading against Copenhagen. We chuck it away. Frailty's there as well. Frailties, you can't just blame, obviously, Anana. Um, but there are frailties there as well to be leading all those games, man. And then just chuck it away. And I'm not going to lie. I'm hoping we don't end up in the Europa League. If we go out, which is looking likely. I say if. I'm pretty much been saying, well, I think we're out. But I still, because there's that hope there. I'm still, you're saying there's a chance? Because there is that little bit of hope there, you're like... But I don't, I don't want us to end in the Europa League. I don't want to stand in the Europa League. That's something that I do not want. Manchester United. It's just, I can't be asked. What do you guys think? Do you, do you think we should have a pop at it? Is it the best way to get into the Champions League? Some may think, although, you know, the knock on effect that could have on your league form, although some would say what league form, um, could be disastrous in terms of where you finish in the league. We've seen it have an effect on league campaigns before, not just with Manchester United. So, yeah, I don't want to really be... I'm one of those spoiled Fergie brats that grew up just on Champions League football. I don't really want to see us in the Europa League again. But maybe it's the only way that we've got a chance of winning the trophy. Who knows? Um, just so, so disappointed after yesterday. And what do we do with Andre Anana? Like, what? I think we stick by him. 
You know, you have to. I think we've obviously spent a lot of money on him. I do think we have to give Altai Bay India a chance as well, especially with the fact that Andre Anand is going to go out on loan. Um, uh, sorry, not out on loan. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Probably foreseeing the future there a little bit. But going out on that African uh, Cup of Nations. So we're obviously going to need being there to be tested and, and, and to step into the first team. But what do we do in the long term? Is it going to be an issue in the long term? You'd hope not. I hope he can turn it around. He's shown some signs of turning it around in the, in, in the Premier League. But then again, I am an optimist. What are you guys thinking? Is an honour done? Is it is it, is this like a failed experiment? Is it over? Um, because those are some catastrophic errors. But hopefully he's got the confidence to turn them around. I've seen that video of him when the final whistle went. I just wanted to give the geezer a hug, man. I felt so sorry for him. But it's cost us. Cost us massively. Cost us massively. Some people, though, running around saying, Oh, see, we shouldn't have let David De Gea go. I love David De Gea, you know. United legend, did a lot for the club. Fantastic. But let's not pretend he didn't make high-profile mistakes. Let's not pretend in Europe, in the Cup against uh, City, a number of occasions, David De Gea cost us. And getting rid of him wasn't the wrong decision. Now, you can argue whether getting an honour was the wrong decision or not. But moving on and replacing David De Gea was the right decision. Letting his contract expire. He was on big, big money at Manchester United. Huge money. And if he wasn't going to be first choice, it made sense to let him go. Um, as much as I would have liked to have seen him stick around and be a backup and all that. Some people don't want to do that. But the fact that we're seeing this revisionism, I, I, I find mental. You can say you don't fancy Anana or you think Anana has not done well without trying to rewrite history on, on David De Gea. And I think De Gea had a great history at Manchester United. But at the end, I think it was time up. Um, and rightly so, maybe. So, yeah, I, I find some of that revisionism a little bit mental. Um, but let us know what you are thinking in those comments below. Are you missing David De Gea? Are you one of those that have been getting at me saying, see, you were wrong about David De Gea and all that? I don't think I was wrong about David De Gea, but the question marks are there and the jury's out on Andre and Arna. Um, both things can be true. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you're keeping it like, like comment, share, subscribe. Fingers crossed and Arne turns it around, but it's not looking good, is it? Anyway, let us know your thoughts in those comments below. Make sure you're keeping it locked. I'll try and keep these videos more regular now. I know I've just been doing match reactions over the last couple of weeks. been hectic with the poker stuff and obviously doing paddock stuff and then the club and then back and forth and spending my life on the motorway. It's difficult to commit, um, but we're going to try and get, get it done. Get it did. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you in a bit.